Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In this short video, I'm going to show you the equivalent of Load and Join in the latest version of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. In the previous versions of the application, the desktop area was separated from the clip library. Therefore, if you wanted to assemble a bunch of clips together from within the library, you would have to select them in the library and press Load and Join. The shots would be assembled into a single edited clip that was loaded onto the desktop. In this version of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced, there are no barriers between the desktop and the libraries. This means if you have a selection of clips you wish to join together, you don't have to load them into different areas within the software. All you need to do is have an open sequence that receives all the media you wish to join together. Hold CONTROL and select the shots directly in the library in the order you wish to assemble. Now drag and drop the source clips into the sequence to create the edit. This new method brings a few benefits over the previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. Firstly, you can drag and drop clips into an existing sequence with other media. This includes dragging and dropping anywhere within the current edit to quickly integrate the new selection. In the previous version, Load and Join could only create a new assembled clip. You couldn't add it to another edit without a few extra steps. The second benefit is that you can now dictate whether the media is assembled horizontally or vertically. If you just want to string a bunch of shots together as an edit, it's a simple drag and drop. But you can also vertically stack the selected shots together. For instance, you need to assemble render passes as part of a composite. Just select the clips in the layer order from the top to the bottom using CONTROL. Drag the selection to the sequence but don't release the cursor. If you now press the META button on the keyboard, the selected clips will stack vertically. If there are not enough video tracks, the sequence will automatically add more where needed. So it's really easy to prepare for this sort of work. So to summarize, you can now load and assemble clips in a new sequence or an existing sequence. And they can also be assembled horizontally or vertically. Hopefully this is easier to use with more choice and functionality. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.